So Mikis, you call this the first truly collective art project in the world. But there are other collective art projects that you can consider such as the Berlin Wall and the graffiti or you can go as far back to ancient Egypt and look at the Sphinx and consider that collective art or some of the biggest cathedrals in the world that were collective pieces of art or you can look at modern things such as Burning Man and a lot of people consider the art of Burning Man to be fully collective art as well. So how is this different than all those other examples of what people consider collective art? Well, if we start with things like graffiti on walls, not only on the Berlin Wall but other places in the world where many artists join together and paint, each mural is an individual piece. Each person they have their own area, their own vision, and they work, and sometimes they coordinate in a common theme, but mostly is every man or woman for themselves. And in places like Burning Man, besides the fact that it is performance art, ephemeral art, there's not something that's left from it, only the movies and the pictures of it, but basically it's people designing through the year and constructing big things, that then they find people to help them to put them up and assemble them. But it's one or two people's idea and execution and then the rest just work to execute. Uh, for big things of the past, like the great cathedrals and, and the sphinxes that you mentioned, that was usually one king with one designer and then hundreds or thousands of artists or workers just executing their little piece that is part of somebody else's vision and everyone doing their thing. They were just basically artists working as builders. And there are like huge Buddhas in Asia, like 120 meters tall, that thousands of people have worked on them. But again, following instructions, following somebody else's design. Here in La Mente, we have done something unique because this is a conglomeration of everybody's vision, everybody's vision, everybody's art, everybody's techniques. You're seeing people working on it and artists that used to be in competition and they fight in competition. Now they're painting in each other's painting, enhancing. Nobody minds, somebody does something, then somebody else has an idea and they go and enhance it. And if it doesn't work, we can like start again, right? Doesn't matter. And there is trust. Everybody we have here, seasoned artists, 
and we have people who have never painted before and everybody has an equal role and everybody is doing marvels and they're all working on each other's and showing people techniques or somebody goes and paints on some others there's pieces of painting here that five six seven people have worked on and every layer brings something to it people ask each other for ideas it is something truly unique because we unite technique vision work heart everything everything is fully collective and that has never happened anywhere in the world ever before so wasn't the idea and initial vision of this project your vision though so how is this project considered collective well you see ideas pop up from somebody whoever so i had the idea to do a giant brain and then we could have the visions of conception inside the brain starting from the vision of having a baby or falling in love and going into the more animalistic part towards the hypothalamus of raw sex jungly primal and have all the range of every kind of human thoughts and emotions and feelings and that was an initial idea and to house our recording studio inside to, so to make it functional but initially people didn't get it and there could have been another idea we could have done something else that somebody else suggested but then as the vision developed people started getting enthusiastic and it started shifting with everybody's vision and whatever is here is something i could never even imagine so yeah ideas appear from one person but then once they cross pollinate and are fertilized they turn into something completely different so yes it is truly collective art and next year we are going to invite people not only to paint with us but also to sculpt with us because during the sculpture that was done by every single one of the 50 Tiramiticans some sculptures would start by one person and then another person would do the face and then they would reach a point and another person would go and add to the face and fix it and every single sculpture has the input although it was the initial idea of somebody I'm going to do that there it has the input of many and every single one of them is collective so we want people to feel that and be part of the sculpture as well so we're going to invite people to come and sculpt with us for a month and be part of it so when they come to paint they truly feel it's theirs and what happens is that usually people they want to have ownership of something because they want to say i did it and feel all the pride but here everyone not only has a full dollop of individual pride for whatever they've done but we also share this amazing collective pride together for what we've done together for this monument to collective art that has been built here i've done sculptures and art and things before and i thought that people would clash i thought that people would be a little bit possessive over the things that they were painting and the art that they were creating but to see how people can come together and how they can work on each other's pieces and really encourage each other to do that and there's not there's no ownership of it you know i haven't seen anyone that's been like that it's been amazing over five days to see people create such a thing with no ownership and no just just really for the final goal you know for what we're creating right now it's just so much fun to like create something together and let go of any like control and anxiety and um, and just know that we're all in it together and that I count and everybody else counts and it doesn't matter how much experience you have or how much you're starting to learn but to just trust that no matter how different our styles are and the things that we like at the end when we put it together it can be like even more incredible than anything I could have imagined. Uh, working together really allowed me to try anything because I could feel like if I had any problems I could ask somebody they're gonna teach me something new and I can move freely between any project I wanted because someone would always be there to jump in and continue my work and no one's gonna worry if I jump in and help them with their work too. I've never painted before, never felt confident in painting. It's, it was one of my fears. I feel like I'm not an artistic person, but after this, I'm ready to tap into some art and get into it. And I'm feeling very, very inspired to keep painting after this. It's an event very particular that in Peru, 
no se ve esto. Esta es la primera vez con todos los amigos artistas disfrutando poco a poco de este momento tan sensacional. What's unique about this? Well, I've never felt such a sense of community, a sense of sharing. Uh, it's it's really out of this world. I've painted with people before, and there can be a lot of nonsense involved, but here in this environment with this kind of creativity we're free to do anything es un trabajo colectivo en conjunto todos participamos poquito a poquito en diferentes partes de la escultura y es muy grande sentir la emoción de cada persona disfrutando este momento muy especial aprendemos a ser más colectivo a confiar en los demás confiar en, en la otra persona confiar en, en el que está a tu alrededor y y mostrarte de una manera más abierta porque tienes confianza en la persona que confía también en ti y, y somos familia como hermanos este evento es único muy particular porque tierra mítica enseña a ser una familia y todos trabajamos unidos it's like it's one organism and everyone's just working together and I I, I was blown away last year and this this year it's something it's something completely new for me, really, I, I feel like I own all of it now. None of it and all of it. And it's, it's really, I'm not competing with anybody, so it's all mine. Es extraordinaria esta experiencia porque podemos ver que personas de diferentes culturas, de diferentes lenguas, pueden fusionarse en un solo objetivo. Y esto es maravilloso. Hacer una obra en común y que se perciba eso como si fuera todo una sola obra. Acá, en esta experiencia nueva que estamos trabajando todos aquí en la mente, el, el arte colectivo es muy bonito para todos, ¿no? Nuevas experiencias para todos, muy importante conocer siempre, compartir siempre el arte. A mí me encanta lo que es el arte colectivo. Yo también soy profesor de artes plásticas en muchos proyectos sociales y siempre trato de algún momento que trabajemos con esto del arte colectivo porque creo que es una manera muy rica, de, es otra manera de visualizar y vivenciar lo que es el arte porque por ahí el, deja de ser trabajo de uno, sino que pasa a ser algo mucho más fluido y como tiene que ser ¿no? entre nosotros, eh, siempre tenemos que aprender uno con el otro y la colectividad es algo muy potente, entonces esto se refleja también en el arte, cuando eh, si juntos hacemos algo que pasa a ser único y esto tiene que ver con la propia conciencia de que somos uno al final, el arte colectivo nos puede traer a este lugar. Compartir esta energía muy grande y muy mágica entre todos nosotros, ¿no? y me voy muy satisfecho y lleno de emoción y gratitud con ustedes. Aquí somos muchos pintores y también la gente con más experiencia, otros con menos, pero de hecho lo que me trajo fue saber que iba a poder estar en contacto con los pintores peruanos, sobre todo, que vienen de la Escuela de Arte Visionario. En este viaje que estoy haciendo como estudio del lugar de pintor, me interesaba y decía, wow, ahí voy porque voy a estar con ellos. Y llegando aquí, lo más poder convivir estos días y, y más de lo que esperaba, porque no solo ellos, sino que hay gente de todos lados y, y, y hay mucho que compartir en estos días y es increíble ver cómo la cosa se va transformando y de repente hay un trocito así, hay cinco pintores que ponen las manos y, y la magia se da y el resultado podemos ver a cada día, es hermoso. Para mí es lo máximo, ¿por qué? Porque intercambiamos ideas, técnicas, estilos y, y cada vez nos encontramos más en compartir un verdadero arte, ¿no? que es lo que se quiere, brindar arte para todas las personas. Cada uno brinda lo suyo, y se hace lo más mal. Yo vine, como decía al principio, interesado de convivir con los pintores peruanos de la Escuela de Arte Visionario. Pero aquí encontré mucho más. Aquí estamos en la selva peruana, o sea, me siento en los brazos de la Pachamama, en este lugar increíble. Y la gente que hace terra mítica, los que viven aquí también, como que nos recibieron a todos con mucho, con mucho calor, con mucho cariño. Entonces, al final es compartir sonrisas y situaciones que se dan en estos días a través del arte. Yo creo que el arte es una de las cosas más increíbles que el ser humano puede hacer y el amor es la energía más potente. Cuando se unen estas dos cosas, podemos volar. 
y aquí está unido las dos cosas, desde cada pintor que lo hace con mucho amor, pero también lo de la colectividad, porque estamos todos haciendo arte y con amor, entonces estamos volando juntos. <risa>